Welcome to our mock interview series, where today we're gearing up to tackle some key questions you might face as a laboratory manager. Let's dive right in with our first question about leading your team through change. Could you share an experience where you led your team through a major change in the lab? This question is all about understanding your leadership skills and how you manage change within your team. Here are some pointers to help you craft your answer. Think of a specific change you spearheaded, such as new protocols or technology. Explain your role and how you communicated with your team. Discuss any challenges you faced and how you overcame them. Share the positive outcomes that resulted from the change. Highlight your support for your team during the transition. Now, let's look at an example answer to help illustrate this. In my previous role, our lab transitioned to an automated sample analysis system. I led the initiative by organizing training sessions and holding regular meetings to address team concerns. This led to a 30% increase in efficiency and significantly reduced errors. By the way, we're only covering a handful of questions in this video, but I've prepared a free PDF with all 30 top interview questions for laboratory manager. It also includes example answers and tips to help you prepare with confidence. The download link is just below. Tell me about a time when there was a conflict between team members in your lab and how you resolved it. This question aims to assess your conflict resolution skills and your ability to foster teamwork. Here are some strategies to consider when preparing your response. Identify the conflict without pointing fingers. Describe your role in mediating the situation. Explain the steps you took to resolve the conflict. Highlight the positive outcome and any improvements in team dynamics. Emphasize the importance of communication and collaboration. Let's see an example of how you might answer this. At my last lab, two members disagreed over an experiment's method. I facilitated a meeting where each could express their views. By guiding the discussion, we found common ground and adjusted the protocol, which improved the experiment's effectiveness and team collaboration. Can you describe a situation where you worked with other departments to meet a lab goal? This question is designed to assess your teamwork and collaboration skills across different departments. To prepare your answer, keep these tips in mind. Identify a specific project involving cross-department collaboration. Clearly define your role and contributions. Mention the departments involved and their expertise. Discuss the outcome and how it benefited the lab's goals. Highlight effective communication and teamwork throughout the process. Here's an example answer to guide you. I partnered with the quality assurance team to improve assay accuracy. My role was to align lab workflows with QA standards, resulting in a 20% reduction in error rates and enhanced efficiency. If a critical piece of equipment fails during an important experiment, what steps would you take to handle the situation? This question tests your crisis management skills and ability to think on your feet. Consider these steps when forming your response. Assess the situation immediately to gauge the impact. Communicate with your team to gather input and inform them of the issue. Look for contingency plans or alternative methods to continue the work. Document the failure and the decisions made for future reference. Ensure the equipment is promptly repaired or replaced. Let's go over a sample answer to help you get started. I would first assess the equipment failure's impact and inform my team. We would collaboratively find alternative methods or backup equipment to proceed while documenting the process for future improvement. With a limited budget, how would you prioritize spending in your lab? Here, the interviewer is interested in your resource management and prioritization skills. Here's how you can approach answering this question. Focus on acquiring essential equipment and supplies for critical experiments. Allocate funds for staff training to enhance skills and productivity. Explore cost-effective alternatives or refurbished equipment. Set aside funds for maintenance to ensure equipment longevity. Implement a feedback loop to reassess spending priorities regularly. Now, here's an example of how you might respond. I would prioritize acquiring essential equipment for ongoing projects, allocate funds for staff training, 
and explore refurbished equipment to save costs. Ensuring quality while maintaining a budget is key. Before we wrap up, remember you can get all 30 questions, example answers, and step-by-step -step tips in a handy PDF. Totally free. Just grab it below.